There's nothing more fun than pointing and laughing at the failure of others. Why, I built my entire brand on such delicious cruelty. <laughs> but today is going to be different. I am temporarily turning over a new leaf. Yes, for once we are going to inject positivity into this channel and let you, the fan of an NFL franchise, enjoy the best moments of your team's history. Delighting all 32 NFL fan bases with special guest Brandon Perna is coming up right after this. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is an app that aggregates ticket prices from all over the web and gives them a score from one to 100. And on top of that, lets you see the view from your seats before you even buy. Download the SeatGeek app from the link below and use my code FPV at checkout and get $20 off your first order. Seat Geek. So here are the rules. Each team gets a handful of greatest moments, which might include the franchise's best win, a clutch or seminal play, a great or historic draft pick, or an awesome trade or hire. Be sure to comment your team's greatest other moments if I left any out, which I will because doing this hurts enough already. Three Super Bowls in four years. How about them Cowboys? Yeah! Drafting Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith breaking the rushing record. The 2000 NFC Championship game was like a dream. This team is going to the playoffs. David Tyree and Mario Manningham. Drafting LT and trading for Eli Manning. Nick Foles catching a TD pass with the game on the line. Deshaun Jackson's miracle run back. The 1960 NFL Championship game, the only team to beat Vince Lombardi in the postseason. Doug Williams winning the Super Bowl MVP. John Riggins run in Super Bowl 17. Daryl Green running down Tony Dorsett. And the 10 man formation, one of the classiest things an organization has ever done. Rest in peace, Sean Taylor. William the Fridge Perry scoring a TD in the Super Bowl. Walter Payton's entire career and every one of Devin Hester's sensational returns. Barry Sanders making defenders look foolish. Upsetting the Dallas Cowboys in 1992 and reaching their first NFC Championship game, Matthew Stafford's fake spike. Brett Favre playing out of his mind after his dad passed away. Winning the Ice Bowl. Winning Super Bowl 45 and Aaron Rodgers stepping out of the shadows to form his own legacy. Stefan Diggs and probable play last year was an instant classic. Fran Tarkenton and the four Super Bowl appearances, though bittersweet, were quite a run. And Adrian Peterson's 2,000 yard rushing season was amazing. I wish I had a breeze running down my leg. I'd kill for a cookie. The upset OT win over the Vikings in the 1998 NFC Championship game took them to their first Super Bowl. Michael Vick's absurd game also against the Vikings in 2002. And Matty Ice leading an incredible last minute drive versus the Seahawks in 2012. Steve Smith taking it to the house to put them in the NFC Championship game. The absolute beatdown they put on the Cardinals in the 2015 NFC Championship game. And drafting Cam Newton is a move that definitely paid off. Tracy Porter's INT run back sealed the franchise's first Super Bowl win. Steve Gleason blocked a kick after Hurricane Katrina and signified a rebirth beyond the football field. Signing Drew Brees, who was coming off a devastating shoulder injury, was a gamble that paid off. Rondé Barber's interception run back punched the Bucks' first ticket to the big dance, followed by the absurd whipping they put on the Oakland Raiders in Super Bowl 37. Leroy Selman winning the Defensive Player of the Year after leading his team to their first winning season and playoff win in only the franchise's fourth year. Larry Fitzgerald and the catch that led a furious comeback in the Super Bowl. Larry Fitzgerald does it again against the Packers. 
And let's face it, drafting Larry Fitzgerald and what he means to the Cardinals organization and the fans. Flipper Anderson's huge OT catch and upset versus the Giants in 1989. The greatest show on turf and Mike Jones keeping Kevin Dyson one yard short. And though signing Kurt Warner was a great move, trading for Marshall Falk was a brilliant one. He was amazing. The catch. Transitioning from Joe Montana to Steve Young flawlessly, winning another Super Bowl easily. Terrell Owens and Vernon Davis last second catches were legendary. Cam Chancellor's huge hit to set the tone in Super Bowl 48 on the way to their first ring. Richard Sherman's deflection and rant after the game. Don't you ever talk about me! And the 12th man causing 11 false start penalties in 2005. The fans should be proud. Frank Reich and the greatest comeback ever shocked the world. Jim Kelly's courage in fighting cancer and his moving Hall of Fame speech. It's my hero, my soldier, my son, Hunter. The beatdown they issued to the Raiders in 1991 to go to their first Super Bowl. The perfect season is still a record that remains unbroken and celebrated every year. Dan Marito's record-breaking TD and passing season in the clutch and grab era, 5,000 plus yards and 48 TDs were unheard of back then. And Dan Marino's fake spike against the Jets showed you just how good he really was. The five Super Bowl wins, of course, drafting Tom Brady in the sixth round when no other team thought he was an NFL quarterback, and hiring Bill Belichick, the best coaching decision a team has probably ever made. Joe Namath guaranteeing a win and his iconic finger waving. Bart Scott's can't wait rant can't after wait. the Jets defeated the Patriots. Anybody can be beat! And Mark Gastineau's 22 sack season plus. His hair was awesome. The miracle catch in Denver, Flacco to Jacoby Jones cleared the way for another Super Bowl win. Jermaine Lewis and his iconic TD run back immediately after the Giants had run one back sealed the Super Bowl. And Ray Lewis going out on top is something Baltimore fans will cherish for the rest of their lives. Wins over the Chargers and Bills in the AFC Championship games in 1982 and 1989 respectively were big. Anthony Munoz's entire career as one of the greatest offensive linemen in NFL history. And of course, the icky shuffle. 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts. Re-expanding after Art Modell left the city high and dry brought back the dog pound to a city that loves football. Jim Brown's amazing career. The 2002 season finally a winner on the field and this preseason commercial. Naturally, the six trophies and sending Bettis off in his hometown. The instant success Big Ben has brought to the team, he was a steal at number 11 overall. The steel curtain defense, and the Immaculate Reception is one of the greatest plays in NFL history. J.J. Watt's pick six versus the Bengals sealing their first playoff win. Their first franchise win against their in-state rival Cowboys in 2002. And though it occurred off the field, what J.J. Watt did for Houston after the devastating effects of extreme weather is truly amazing and bigger than the game. Drafting Peyton Manning. Super Bowl V, the comeback versus the Patriots when they calmly and coolly got it together and went on to win the Super Bowl. The shocking upset over the Denver Broncos in the 1997 divisional round in just their second year, clinched by a pass to Jimmy Smith. The upset over the Steelers last year. And Fred Taylor was tremendous for the Jags, one of the most underrated running backs of all time. The Music City Miracle is also an iconic play. There are no flags on the field! It's a miracle! Drafting Steve McNair out of tiny Alcorn State and his amazing NFL career. Alongside McNair was the dazzling resume of Eddie George. 
Hank Stram on the sidelines in Super Bowl IV as he stole the show, coached them to victory. Mr. Official, let me ask you something. How can six of you miss a play like that? Huh? The thrilling OT win over the Steelers in 1994 led by the golden arm of Joe Montana. Drafting the great Tony Gonzalez, the all-time leading pass catcher for the franchise. Marcus Allen's cutback run in a huge upset over the Redskins was the longest run from scrimmage in a Super Bowl at the time. Tom Flores' tenure as head coach, one of the most criminally underrated and ignored accomplishments in history. What Al Davis did for the AFL and subsequently the NFL is another underappreciated footnote in history. His business moves paved the way for the NFL to be what it is today. Kellen Winslow's Bach field goal helped them win a huge playoff game in Miami in 1982. The shocking upset over the Colts in the 2009 playoffs capped by this run. Ladanian's career in a Bolts uniform, a truly dominant running back for a long, long time. And now it's Brandon Perna from That's Good Sports to wrap this up, tell you all about the Broncos' best moments. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel, That's Good Sports. Thanks for having me on your channel, Three Point Turns, or whatever the f*** it's called, for my three best Denver Broncos moments. I am the world's leading football expert with an emphasis in Broncos studies. The number three best moment, the Broncos' first Super Bowl win in Super Bowl 32. John Elway finally got the monkey off his back. Terrell Davis won MVP despite getting a migraine in the second quarter that left him blind and with a permanent erection. Steve Atwater nearly killed himself, a teammate and a Packer, with one hit. John Elway had the helicopter spin and owner Pat Bolin, who should be in the Hall of Fame, raised the Lombardi Trophy and famously said, Black Lives Matter. The number two moment, John Elway signing Peyton Manning. Next to Elway, no other player in Broncos history made a bigger impact on the team than Peyton Manning. And nobody at the time thought Pepe would pick the Broncos when he was a free agent. In four seasons in Denver, he threw for 17,112 yards, 140 touchdowns, and secured four straight AFC West first place finishes. 2012 and 2013 were two of the most exciting offensive seasons I ever remember watching as a Broncos fan. And he, of course, took no HGH while a Denver Bronco no HGH. And the number one moment in Broncos history is trading for John Elway after the Colts drafted him. This changed the fate of the franchise and is still affecting the organization today. You could argue that acquiring Elway directly led to 19 out of 20 of the greatest Broncos moments. Without this one transaction, the Broncos don't go to seven Super Bowls since 1983. They don't become one of the most winning organizations in all sports. John Elway has impacted the organization more than any one player in football history. I mean, he gave this city the drive. Five Super Bowl appearances as a player with two wins. Then, as GM, he ditched fan favorite Tim Tebow and signed Peyton Manning, which led to two more Super Bowl appearances and one Super Bowl win, and his legacy isn't done because as Broncos GM, he still has five years left to win a Super Bowl with Case Keenum and another with Chad Kelly. Elway's track record will be more decorated than the inside of Chip and Joanna's sex dungeon. HGTV reference. Also, Denver would have never been blessed with multiple John Elway car dealerships. Besides the environment, who hates cars? Nobody. Thank you, John Elway. I'm Brandon Perno. That's good sports. Mm -hmm. See, would you look at that? I made it through an entire video without throwing any shade. I'm going to go throw up now. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting videos on sports. I'm Five Points Vids and you made it to the end of this video. How long until I get to do another trigger video? <laughs>